Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, so every Wednesday I do a PCB tutorial, KeyCAD or LTM. So it's Wednesday night and I'm busy with the tutorial. Um, but in this video I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a Raspberry Pi shield in LTM. And then next week or whenever I'll do another one for KeyCAD. Um, so it's the same concept, you just do it different, different steps at certain points but the idea is the same. So I made a shield with just different modules on it. So it's not actually circuitry, or it is circuitry, but it's bought out modules that I just put on top of the Pi to make it easier. So I can get a PCB in six to seven days. Um, so it'd be a neater than a breadboard solution, but it's more chances of making mistakes, I guess, if you think like that. And I actually made the PCB here. Um, so you can see it's a nice little board. Um, I'm gonna solder it. And then I've got these, are for 433 megahertz modules so I actually want to play around with RF and then so the idea is I've got these modules bought at a hobby shop or wherever you want to and you just make the connections on it and you'll be able to plug it into Raspberry Pi so that's the idea uh, so in this video I'm just going to show you guys how to go through LTM to make this uh, nice and easy so you can put different stuff on it that you would like to do so if you have different sensors you want to do you can buy modules and keep putting on your PCB so once you start doing PCBs, you don't always have to go straight into making your own circuitry. Sometimes it's nice just to get the hang of the program, get the hang of how you can do PCBs, what is required with Gerber's manufacturing process. So sometimes it's safer or easier just to take modules that you already know works and start building your PCB around that. So make a PCB where you can put it in different modules um, and then you just take the pins like you would with a breadboard or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is basically what I ended up with. Um, so it's a Raspberry Pi shield, as you can see, outlined with different modules on it. So I've got a 433 megahertz module. I've got a LoRa module, um, a Zigbee one that I'm gonna install there. And this is also the 433 megahertz, just transmitter and receiver. But you don't get it like this right off the bat. So I'm gonna show you guys how I actually made this board. I did not actually make this board. We live in a nice world where templates exist and I made use of a template. So what I did, I went on Google and searched for templates for Raspberry Pi and I came across this. I will share the link below where you can download as well, but someone basically already made the PCB layout for us. So if you look at this, the PCB is already drawn for us. So this will fit already in a Raspberry Pi. I can vouch for it, I made it, I made the PCB and it fits very nicely. And you can see in the schematic, they also already have the pinout. So there's your connector. How cool is that? So once you open the template, you save it in a place where you know and change the names. So it's better to change names um, to make more sense. So I'm gonna save it in the folder shield and I'm gonna call it Rasp Shield. And then we go to this, we save that also as, and you just save everything as, make sure it's in the same folder, Rasp Shield. And there you can see they even give you a nice drawing of dimensions and everything using a DWF file. We'll get to that in another video, but just be safe, save as. It's always important that all your device, all your files has the same names. So I save in shield, Rasp shield. And then last we save the project as, and now it just looks much better. So as I said, you were here. So the idea is that I can put different modules here and just connect it to where I want it um, in our design. Um, so in my case, I was working on radio frequency modules, different frequencies, uh, LoRa, Zigbee, and the normal 433 megahertz. What I basically did was I looked for modules that I would use, um, like Adafruit and places like that as very nice modules online. They give you the schematic and everything. So I'm using a module called the RFM radio module. They give you how to connect it to the Raspberry Pi as well. So that means that I've got this component and I know exactly where to connect it in my Raspberry Pi. Um, so that it will work. So I can just solder it on like I did with my own PCB. So you can see, we just have to make sure the names are fine. So MOSI 
is SPI and that has to go to a certain pin. So you can see they already labeled it for you. Um, this has to be of the same name. So these are actually ports. So we can copy this if you want, paste it there and then use that for MISU. You can do this. Um, I'm not a big fan of using ports when it's not off the page. I've got another video about ports. I would prefer to use net labels, which are these, when you're using one sheet than using ports. Ports is more for off sheet um, global variables. Um, I'll put a link on a video you guys can watch with it's better explanation. But basically you want to make sure that these names are the same as these names. So it and you can connect it like this. There we go. And now clock is your normal clock here. Let's look for clock. So there you can see the clock. So we take that. I rather copy here because then I know the connection is fine. These components I made myself. I will share it in our GitHub. Um, so I do put all our LTM footprints in GitHub that you can use. But that's the wrong place. And we connect it there. So we need GPO5. And we take it from here. Copy and paste. There we go, 8 and 25, and that's it. So there you can see 8, so it's actually this one. You guys can rename it how you want. So this is actually CS, so it makes sense, right? C is 0, so it's actually perfect. And then 25. It's sometimes easier to look on this side. There's 25, 25, copy. And that is how easy it was to connect a module that we bought out uh, from other fruits. So I bought this from Mauser Electronics. And we are just going to have header pins like that and sold it on. So now what we do is we save, always go to tools, annotate schematic, and I normally do it quietly. And now we go tools, update, continue. It's going to add it. And now you'll see we have our breakboard, break out board on our PCB. So we've made this with the connections. This is a board.module from Adafruit. So we didn't have to make all these fancy not fancy, but we didn't have to place these components. We didn't have to make this PCB. We just take a module that we know works and put it on our PCB. And then we can move it how we want to. And then we can just connect the pins that we assigned here to our connector over there. And then you'll be able to plug it into your Raspberry Pi. So let's add the other connectors, the 4338 and the Zigbee connector. So what I mean by just buying a module, um, so yeah, I'm in the Netherlands, so I use this website a lot to buy my modules and I just want to use a 433 megahertz transmitter receiver kit and they've got stuff like this. So I know this modules work, I've tested it with my Arduino ESP, but now I want to make it a bit neater. Um, so you can see it's just got a normal 4 pin 2.54 pitch connectors, just your generic ones. So that's all we need for our design now, as you can see right over there. So I made a component, I will share it as well with you guys on GitHub. That is just four connectors, VCC, data, ground, ground, VCC, data. So I'll basically take these two, these two devices and just solder them straight on. Again, very easy. I don't have to worry about all doing all this myself on the board. I can, of course, but like I said, if you're new to PCB designs, don't feel bad doing this first. Uh, it's actually a quite very nice way of getting into PCB design. So once I've got this, I just do tools, update again, and update to my PCB. So now we place the components on our board. And this is what I mean. Now I just got modules I can move around if I want and place it where I feel the perfect fit. Space to rotate. And then that's it. So I've got just got three modules that is already built in. Someone already made it. But I want to practice my PCB design. I want to make a shield for the, sh for the Raspberry Pi that's easy. No wires needed. I just plug and start playing with it. So that's the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, please thumbs up, subscribe. And if you just want to support our cause of helping more people, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, we do sponsor projects once a month. Uh, so we're using the income from YouTube just to give it back to the community, helping the people who can't afford or Adreno can't afford a pi or pcb um, and sponsor them with projects so they can learn as well um, but yeah it's not a very technical video it's more of trying to get you guys to think about don't overcomplicate things um, if you're new to this don't be scared to just do a board with modules that you've used before on a breadboard or you took jumper cables and just connected to your arduino um, it's a nice easy way fun way to start into it it gets very demotivating if you try to get too complicated and it doesn't work 
because then you order the PCB, yeah, and then you have to start soldering wires on, you have to cut tracks because you made mistakes. Um, so start slow and build up. There's no shame about it. So this is kind of what we did now. So this will just plug into the Raspberry Pi and then we'll solder our modules on. So yes, guys, keep it simple. Uh, just keep learning, try to do step-by-step -step improvements. Don't just go out, boom, make a PGA six layer board. Uh, it doesn't work like that, it's baby steps. And yeah, so every Wednesday I do make a tutorial like this and every Sunday I try to do streams, uh, live streams where you can just come on and ask me for help or anything. I also have Discord where at night um, people ask questions and I do reply to everyone as well, or I try to. And we are busy actually helping a couple of people on Discord as well, which is pretty cool. I, yeah, so we have chats there, I give advice, other people give advice, there's people on there way smarter than me in PCB design, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, I'm mumbling again. Guys, a fantastic day, wherever in the world, until our next tutorial. Bye.